Hello everyone, this two minute book review is on Bloomsbury Women by Jan Marsh and, and it is a reprint of a book that Jan published in the mid 90s with a few new editions. And I have to say I was incredibly excited about reading this book because the Bloomsbury set uh, were an incredibly influential arts and um, culture group in the turn of the 20th century and they're really well known not just for their influence in British society but also particularly for the equal role that was given to the men and women in the group and included in the women group are of course Virginia Woolf and Vanessa Bell and characters such as Dora Carrington and I really was looking forward to getting a book which really examined the women in the group and just their personalities and the strength of character it took to be vocal in a time when women were meant to be seen and not heard. So. So, there are two things wrong with this book. Firstly, the book is unbelievably dry. It's so sterile. It's very distant. You don't get under the skin of these women at all, or indeed anyone in the Bloomsbury group. It's very removed. Maybe at only 88 pages, you couldn't really get into any depth. But for example, there's no mention of Virginia Woolf's mental illness, which is extraordinary. And her suicide gets sort of a one sentence mention. Um, and Vanessa's struggles, such as the loss of her son in the Spanish Civil War, which was a very traumatic event, but, you know, again, given no time or attention. And so it's very distant, very dry. My second problem with the book is that this book is almost entirely about the men of the Bloomsbury group. I mean, it's all about Roger Fry, Maynard Keynes, it, even for a time when, for example, Vanessa and Virginia were sharing the same man, Clive. It's almost all about Clive. Now, maybe Virginia and Vanessa didn't care about the men, which is, you know, fair enough, but I would like to have heard that. But no, it's all from Clive's point of view, so it's a bit of a false sell, this. There is a real demand, I think, for a, uh, a book that does talk about the women of this amazing group, and I really want to read it, but sadly this is not that book.